This lesson is a quick tutorial on how to grab images from the internet so that you can insert them in your Dreamweaver web pages. Now I have already gone ahead and navigated to the internet at www.google.com. From there I've clicked on images and here I am at Google's search area for images. Keep in mind that most of these images are not owned by Google and when you give credit or citation to the images it is not going to be to Google. In my search criteria I'm going to type in NASA and I'm going to go for the space shuttle as an example here and here are some of the mere 8 million web results that I've gotten here. The one I would like to take a look at and play with is this one I like it because it's coming from wikimedia.org um, and that is a site that has open licensing and I'm pretty sure that the image is going to be um, fine to use and in fact once I'm here I can go ahead and uh, read through the licensing pieces making sure that I do take note of these licensing pieces so that I would know that I could use it. I should always give credit for it though regardless of whether or not this is in the public domain. In any case this is the image itself. It's actually quite large and much larger than I would probably ever want to use but regardless of that I'm going to go ahead and click on it one more time and get the super giant version of it. I am always better off getting the largest version of an image so that I could then scale it down and not lose any clarity whereas if I got say this little tiny image up here the problem with that is that if I ever tried to expand it it would pixelate or look very blocky and blurry I wouldn't want to do that always better to go larger to grab this image I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose save picture as now I am here in Internet Explorer if I were in Firefox or a different browser process is the same but the words that they use here might be slightly different. You're looking for something that's basically equivalent to save picture as. I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my computer and I'm going to navigate to my thumb drive and my name folder and I'm going to go ahead and go into my brains folder and this is a practice file so I'm going to double click into my practice folder and I'm going to go ahead and click save. Now actually before I do that notice here that this is JPEG and I could change to bitmap don't ever want to do that. I could rename this file if I wanted to and again in general unless there's a good reason to do that I would stick with the same name just so you know what it's all about. Now if this were a name that were totally unrelated uh, to the content then I might change it but you definitely do not want to change the file extension. The other thing you must remember is you cannot have spaces in file names on the images. Spaces are deadly in general but particularly so on images. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and that's the process of grabbing an image off of the internet. Now I'm not going to grab any more regular images. I am going to show you how to grab another type of image that will be used as a background. Now the process is exactly the same but I do want to just give you a, a another example. I am at a website called backgroundcity.com and I can choose any of the categories that they have here and I'm going to go ahead and choose lines and graphs just for the sake of it. Now these are actually going to be pretty harsh on the eyes but for our sample that's going to be fine. I am going to choose a dark blue and as I click on it I can see that these are the color pieces that set against it and it does help in that regard to see what it's going to look like again against my text so that I can plan for my color patterns. If we read the directions it says right click anywhere on the background of this page to save the image to your computer and that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click. Now notice this time it doesn't say save picture as and that's because we're not actually clicked onto a picture but rather it says save background as. 
going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to once again navigate into my computer and over to my thumb drive and into my brains and into my practice now one of the things I like to do when I'm naming a file specifically for a background is I like to put in BKG or even just BG that might even be shorter to indicate to me later on because this file doesn't make a lot of sense to me but this is to indicate to me later on that this is indeed a file that would function as a background now this is a dot gif or some people will pronounce this as a gif doesn't matter same idea do not change the file name you can give it a I'm sorry do not change the file extension you can give it a different file name but remember spaces are not acceptable can't have them so no spaces click on save and that's all there is to grabbing a background image